Welcome back to Beer Factory. I'm very, very excited to get into this one because in the previous video where we built the underground beer brewing facility, we may have run out of money to the point where I couldn't complete contracts I had to take out a loan. So what I've done is I've spent the last hour or so literally just crushing raw malt and selling it for the contracts. And what I've done is I've paid back the loan in full. I've been keeping up with the employees' paychecks. I've completely filled our water tank. We are now level six. We have more stuff for the forklift in terms of wheels and i think we've got a combustion engine so it's a little bit faster and we've also got five grand so what we can do is we can now buy the new building and unlock the bottling machineries because if we go to it's in yeah here we go so it's two grand for the bottling room so if we grab that bottling room unlocks so it's the blue building at the back oh that's a tip that's an absolute tip. We need to open the entry of the bottling room. I've had to fight Francis once. I've had the inspector come in. She gave us 144 rep points. But if we come over here and we open the doors. Yeah, there we go. Open the right gate. Is it this one? Wait, can we open this one too? Okay. And all of my staff at the moment are working, so I'm going to have to chuck all this in the bin myself. Or, no, what I could do... Oh, here we go. Spoiler number four. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is get one of my staff to come clean this up. I can't be bothered to do this on my own. I'm guessing we can't access these. Open the left gate. Oh, no, I did it the wrong way around. Oh, have I messed up by opening that too early? So, now that we're back in, we have to turn everything on again. So, if we come and open this door, and if we grab... Well, if we turn the coffee machine on... And I think I fixed the issue with the... You know, we had a problem with the truck... Uh, the truck that drops your... Uh, products off your goods it sometimes the doors didn't close and it bugged out i think i've actually fixed that by when you back away from the truck in the forklift if the doors don't close automatically if you drive back up to the doors with the pallet and then drive away again the doors seem to close so i'm hoping that's fixed properly so open the left gate there we go Order a pallet of empty bottles. More you brew, more you need them. So, let's get this door open. Or do I have to open it from the other side? Uh, so, delivery, and then it's not going to be in there. That's the products. Here we go. Six empty bottles per unit. It said just... Let, let me get six of those, because they're only $10 each. So, look at this bad boy. We've got turbo in it. I mean, we had this all along, but I just didn't pay attention to it. To lift that up. And then if we come round to here. And then back up the doors. There we go, they're closing. Okay, so we've got two people working on rubbish. And the rubbish is going really slowly. So what do we do with this? Oh no. Production settings. Stored quantity. Oh, we have 120 litres stored. Wait for the machine to... I literally just pressed launch. Wait for it to bottle at least one batch. You need to put empty bottles at the input of the machinery. So, that's the input, right? So maybe if I put all of these here... I don't know if he's actually going to do anything. Right, so he's unpacked them. Do we have beer going in? Yeah, we've got 120 litres of it. And it says, look, stored... So will we get bottled quantity? I don't know if we're going to need a pallet for them. Oh, look, they've got a little purple logo on them. Oh, this is cool. We're going to need a lot of bottles, though. Uh, buy and place a bottle in machinery. Oh, what? We've already got two. Why is it telling us to buy another one? Because we can, yeah, we can move it. Have a map. We need four employees. 
So let's go hire the next person quickly. See, I, I was expecting to spend two and a half grand, so I'm glad I got five so that I've got spare money. Uh, employees, and we can drag this along. There we go. Go to the computer and unlock the docks with the global market that come together. You are joking. I'm going to have to take out another loan. Let me just do the seven and a half grand one because we can make it back from contracts anyway. Oh, I owe 8,800. Uh, so let's see. The five grand clearly wasn't enough. So where does this docks go? This building looks massive too. Um, build at least five storages. You need plenty of them. So where... It's not that gigantic building over there. Oh, it is. Can I get... Where's our... New, oh, yeah. Uh, Jackson's already uh, sorting that out. Build at least five storages on the docks. So I've got to build them here. I'm guessing that's where... I, I don't know why the number one's not there. I'm, I'm guessing this is where trucks pull in to grab the beer that we're bottling. But let's uh, go and we need... Did it say five of those? Yeah, because it won't be yeast. So there's a gap there. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Screw it. So I've got to screw all of these on. Wait, it says pilot the crane. How do I pilot the crane? What's over here? Okay, we've got a little... Oh, we've got computers in the docks already. Oh, they're... Okay. This is going to be... Are we going to adjust the speed of it? This is going to be really complicating. Export a batch of your brewed beers. Grab the pallet with the crane and drop the pallet inside an export heavy truck. You can order one on the computer. But I need to get these storage things set up first. Oh, there's a lot to do. There's so much to do. Sorting these out takes so long. I've just finished sorting them out. But they're all screwed on. And I believe we have to use the computer to order the parts for the storage shelves. There is a normal computer in the docks. That's brilliant. Yeah, look, we need these. So I need 10 of those. And I've just noticed. It said the global market is open. It's like a full-on... Look, market price is updating 4 minutes 20. We can save money on stuff. And if we export 756 litres of beer, we get a 1.16 times sale bonus, but there's only 13 minutes to do it. This is going to take weeks. I have to manually transport all of these. So I'm hoping I've sorted it out so I can bring bottles through. And once they're put here... I think I've done it. Yeah, we've got our dude sorting out the empty bottles. Is he going to do all four and then unpack them? Okay, so we did 120 litres. You get three bottles per litre. Ah, oh, so this is a lot. Uh, let me stop this for now. I mean, I don't know what difference it makes, but I've got spare bottles because look... We've got 24 uh, boxes. It says Heineken, but it's not his beer. Uh, yeah, there's... Yeah, it's 3 by 3 on the bottom, so that's 18, and then the 6 on top, 24. So there's $100. I've ordered a truck. Fill the trailer of the truck with everything you want. Come back here and order the truck to sell the merchandise. No, not use the forklift. I mean, I'll, I'll happily use the crane. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm using the crane. I thought the back of it would open up. So let's see. How do we... There we go. You just have to lower it in really, really slowly. So now I have a thing in there. Did I do that right? Does it not get fixed in there? 
I mean, I put that in there very, very nicely. So let's see. Uh, exit and sell. There's $800. Right, I'm not going to sell that lot yet. I need to order more empty beer bottles because we can get another crate. I'm going to drive this back around the front, order the bottles, grab a coffee. I'm not allowed to put a conveyor belt in here. Why? I can't even get an automated system to get my stuff to the... To the back of the thing. Are they even going to make it onto the second one? The conveyor belt system needs a lot of work in my opinion. I wanted to get one from the front of the place to the docks. And then one to the bottle in place. Um, no, it doesn't even work. No, that's dodgy. The thing is, I now don't know how to sort these. How to sell them or get rid of them or whatever. I'm just going to have to leave them there. I think this might be the way to do it. And let me turn this on for the dude. We've got 60 litres left to process through here. He's unpacking them all, putting them through. I think if we have a pallet there, the crates should automatically go on there. Because when I chucked it there, I had four sitting up here and they were automatically placed on that pallet. So we'll come back and we'll see. I want to grab the rest of the storage stuff. Oh, look at that. I was right. I mean, we've kind of uh, filled up this entire pallet. So I've just taken down Francis again. Yes, I used my beer to take him down. Uh, he's given us neon for the forklift. Wow, it's full on neon as well. And now that I've worked out the color system, we've got a... Uh, I want to try and make it a little bit lighter. Look, there it is. With his little neons on. That's unbelievable. And there we go. So we stop. We have nothing left in storage. So with you... Oh, how are you not level 9? How is nobody level 9? We've got another 12 crates to go on the truck. So we have the last pallet in the docks, ready to be loaded into the truck. And I really think what they need to do with this game is consider up in the automation. Because there's so much micromanagement. Like, I've got three bottling machines, and I can't run them all at the same time. I can keep brewing the beer, but then I've got to deal with the malt, I've got to put the hop in, I've got to do the yeast, because I don't think you can actually get your member of staff to put things into the brew tank. I think they just stand there and store it. I'm not entirely sure how it all fully functions, but especially when it comes to this docks bit, you can have someone operating the crane, which is, yeah, that's good. But then in terms of, like, the conveyor belts, you're not allowed to put them outside, so... What I would have wanted to do is have pallets in here and maybe even buy multiple forklifts. So I wanted to have pallets in here that were empty, like on the storage, ready to go. But the storage, you have to like, manually drag each bit from the very front of your factory all the way back here. So it's just really time consuming. And it, it's not a massive problem. You can do it. As I said, it's just time consuming. But I'd like to be able to have the storage shelves built up put empty pallets on them, take the pallets off, and then have a conveyor belt that's bringing the beer once it's made directly from the bottling machines over into the uh, docks, ready to be put on pallets and then like put into the truck, if, the, if that makes any sense. And I know the devs are hard at work. They've already released another patch for this game. They did one where they sorted out the anchor points on the forklift. They uh, changed the controls because they were inverted. On the little jack thing. And I know they're going to be working in the future. At least it's on the roadmap. They're going to be working on cans. So it's cans of beer as well as bottles and stuff. So hopefully they can add more automation into the game. Or at least give the staff more things to do. Like your employees. Because they're earning $7.50. Like $7 every 15 minutes. And half of them are just standing in the kitchen. Doing nothing with their time. But now that we've got 120 litres of beer, it would have cost us, what, we needed 26 malt, so that's 260. 8 hop, so that's 340. And then I believe it was just one box of yeast, which I think is $20. 
So that's 360, then shipping cost is 15, 375, and then just time. So we're we'll saying it cost $400 to. Oh, wait, no, because water. We needed like nearly 500 liters of the stuff, which is about 165. I don't know. We'll say six, seven hundred dollars, and it is worth if we go to the right computer. If we go to the global market dock manager, there's 1600 in there. Oh, at the moment, look at that, 36 percent off raw malt, uh, nearly two percent off hop. Oh, yeast is 40 dollars. Empty bottles are five percent down. So instead of that being $960, it's only going to be $638. I don't know if it's bugged because I'm adding empty bottles to the order and it's not changing. Let me order and see if those empty bottles turn up or see if the money comes out. It says $688. Oh no, the empty bottles are just completely bugged on there. But I've just bought all that raw malt for so much cheaper. So we are going to sell the... If you do 689 litres, it's a 1.34 times. So that's when you're mass producing. See, but it's just so time consuming to do that. And we have an import coming in in uh, slot one. So let's sell this for 15.99. New objectives will be added soon. So we are done with everything in the game. And now I've just got four pallets. I've got no storage set up in here. I've got four pallets that need taking off this lorry full of malt. So that's going to help with the next lot of beer. But look at all this raw malt we've got. And it was a lot cheaper than buying it normally. So the global market is really, really good. Especially because it updates so often. See, but I owe nearly nine grand on the loan. Uh, so we've got all of this stuff. I mean, I don't know how to get the upgraded storages. Maybe that's like rep level 8 or something. Uh, and then you've got... Yeah, so it's $40 for yeast. See, it's normally $10, so that would have been nine sixty, And then, say, 5 for delivery... No, 20 for delivery fee, because I do one pallet at a time. So that would have been, what, 980 And I just got it for like six ninety. That's a really, really good saving. And yeah, I owe 8800 on the loan. So what I've done is I have brought all the malt over to the grain crusher. I've got people working on input and output so that we can get all of this turned into crushed malt. And I think for the time being, I'm just going to deal with the contract. I want to get that loan paid off so that every bit of money is ours. And it's really expensive getting the beer going. And it's really, really time consuming because there's only so much you can get your employees to do. They won't take product to and from places, at least from what I've figured out playing the game. And what I've just figured out is if I go to delivery and I simply get seven more, order the raw malt, and then oh, what, uh, one thing I forgot to do is go to the contract, accept, 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 accept. So we've got five contracts on the go. And if I grab the first batch and bring this out, put this in the pickup, and then without crashing into the pickup. I forgot about them stupid storage things. If I grab the last seven out of the truck, if we make sure the doors are going to close... No, okay, so this is the first time they've bugged since I started recording. Oh, wait, there we go. Right, that's off. So if we go and get this in place... If we do the seven first, then we've got three pallets of 24. And we have the final crate, or final pallet, of uh, crushed malt for all of the contracts. And Liam is four points, so he needs to do, like, four black bags away from being able to do the uh, dock crane. But what we're going to do is we're going to lift this pallet up a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to crash into the wall. We're going to back our way out of here. We are then going to go forward, pop that in the pickup. And that is every contract complete. 
And if we work it out, it was, what, 690 for the 96 from the global market, the raw malt. And then we had to buy another seven. So that's $10 each one. And then say staff wages as well. That's what, 690 and 70 or 760. We're just, we'll round it up to $800. And I calculated the reward for all five of the contracts. And it comes to 2,832 roughly. Like I rounded it down to the nearest dollar. So uh, yeah, that's a $2,000 profit just off these contracts alone. And if we have a look, look at that 1135 for crushed malt. So you're going to be doing contracts really easy. But just think of how easy you can do the contracts when the crushed malt is only $11. You just buy 23 of that or the, for an example, buy 15 of it. That's that contract done. And you don't have to go through all the process of crushing all the grain. But what we're going to do is we're going to validate that. And we're going to validate that. And then we're going to do this one. And we're also going to do number four. And then we're going to do number five. That's all the contracts done. We've got nine and a half grand. So what I'm going to do is we will still have about 700 left. Let's uh, pay this back. So we now owe nothing. So we earned the money for the docks, cranes, and everything else we've done. All the empty bottles and everything like that. And we've still got $730. But every dollar is ours. And we've pretty much done everything there is to do. The only thing we would do from now on would be to make more money and just create more of our own beer. But look, 19, 29, 19, 16, and 21. Oh, and look at that. If we was to sell 658 litres of our beer within the next half an hour, it's a 1.74 times multiplier. And we already doubled our money on the beer, roughly. But what we have done is completed every objective in the game. We have got neon and everything on our forklift. We've unlocked all of the different machine rooms. You've got the docks, the bottling machine room, the brewing facility. Then we've got the grain crusher, obviously. We've done pretty much everything there is in the game. The only thing to do now would be to make our own beer, continue crushing malt and things like that, just to make more money in the game. There's pretty much no more progression at the moment. But if we take a look at the roadmap, They've got game release, and then they're going to enhance the AI. They're going to be adding security and stuff. You can actually hire a security guard to hunt Francis. That's going to be a really, really big help. And then they're going to be adding beer cans in, so new objectives and everything like that. Uh, they're going to be doing beer kegs as well. They're going to do controller compatibility, and then they've got miscellaneous content. An opportunity to hire Francis. I mean, he's probably going to drink into your profits, but you never know. That could be really good. And everything listed below is going to be free content. And they're also going to be adding various challenges to unlock spices, the spices you can put in your beer brew. And then in the AI enhancement, overall improvement in AI behavior and animations, employees are going to be able to take what they want uh, or what they need from built storage. So we would just have to get them all in, put it into storage on pallets, and then they just come and take it. Employees can be assigned to the crane and load and unload heavy trucks. That would be really, really helpful. New behaviors are going to be added. For example, some would like to go for a smoke. Others would like to drink coffee. Voices will be added to the employees. Each one will have their own model. And then a translation of all the different voices. So there's a lot to come in this game. But at least for the time being, we have done everything there is to do without just playing the game for the sake of playing it and making more money. So what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Beer Factory in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.